Okay, come on, let's work. Good morning, Nathan James Norman. Yay, the controllers are working. So we're going to start a new game for Cuphead. And we're going to do some story here. Endless Summer Nights. <laughs> Man, being up this early on Saturday really does remind me of the old Saturday anime days, right? With Record of Lotus War. Here we go. Once upon a time in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers in Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care and a watchful eye of wise elder cattle. One day the two boys wandered far from home and despite the elder cattle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the devil's casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on the winning streak on the craps table. Hot, hot dog! Oh, no, that's a different character. Hot dog! exclaimed King Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellows can't lose. <laughs> nice run, boys. Laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It's the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours. The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Oh, good gosh. Cuphead, no. Cried Mugman, for he understood the danger. It was too late. Snake eyes. Laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose. The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for the very lives. There must be another cool way to save you. Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister. Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is. The devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I might just pardon you two mugs. Now get going. The devil roared, kicking the boys out of the most rudely. You have until midnight tomorrow to collect every one of these souls, otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug! Panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. Uh -huh. You don't know what to do. Geek Devotion says, this intro alone makes me want to play this game. Dale says, ever play Axis and Allies? I have not, Dale. Uh, Nathan says, nice 1940s narration. Why, thank you very much. What a fun... What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't have, I know you don't want to be the pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor's friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magic abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the mystical inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Hey, good morning, a good read. Tick-tock, time to rock. This game is... So there's the tutorial. Anything else from... You'll have to lay out those tetras to move on. Now shake a leg. All right, well, which way do I go? Oh, there's the exit. <laughs> Where's the door to leave? I'm trying to leave. All right. I, I, I'm I sure tons of people have commented on this, but I love the animation and the overall style of this. It's so beautiful. Everyone's down to refresh. Thank you for the host, Rosie. Hi, fellas. Looks like you're in for it now, eh? Well, I used to be the same way. Always getting into trouble. Running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand. Take this. Ooh, you received three gold coins. Sweet. Anything else? Strawberry man? Hey, guys. Good to see you again. Hope those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check with other folks around here. They might help you, too. The ones try not trying to kill you, I mean. Thanks for that. 
We're going to go to the shop here. A good raid says, we can't refresh Dale unless we give him a Gatorade or something. <laughs> Geek Devotions going to be in and out. I'm working on tomorrow's lesson right now. No worries, Geek Devotions. Thanks for stopping in and coming back whenever you can. Uh, awesome, awesome to have you guys here. Mysterio. Wait, what? Random stream? Epic. So, Mysterio, this is something I'm doing called Saturcade Adventures, where every Saturday morning now, I'm going to be streaming uh, these three games. Uh, games will be, when I beat a game, then we'll switch it out for another game. But for right now, we're going to be streaming Cuphead, Aquaria, and uh, Wonder Boy uh, for each in our blocks. So from 7 a.m. to, uh, let's see, what is that? I always have to roll with math. 10 a.m. We're going to be uh, streaming uh, on Saturday morning. So glad you're here. Dale. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey, Dale. So glad you're here. Uh, Nathan Dave's going nice. An ice cold, refreshing Dale. Start your day right <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm glad. Ah, a refreshing Dale. So nice. Pork rinds and pork ham. Enter. Sorry, my daughter got her fingers on the computer. Oh, no worries. That's fine. Okay, seven. To Lil Reed. Okay. Let's see. I would like spread... Oh, I don't have enough for a spread shot. Smoke bomb, no. We're going to... Long range with below average damage. No. Adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. No, well, I'm gonna save for my spread shot. I'll go back. Goodbye, Porkins. Okay, so th this is a boss, but let's go and get these little red tabs are actually like running gun levels, and you can get coins here. So we'll do this one first. Forest Follies running gun. Oh my. Let's try this again. Yes, if you die, you get to do the whole stage all over again. Isn't that fun? It actually does help you to just get better at this game overall, I've found. But, um, but yeah, it, especially when you're right there at the end, that's kind of demoralizing. But when you deal with the devil, that's what you get. Okay, kill these mushrooms. Let's not just try to get the pink flower because we don't really need it. We're not, there's no boss at the end of this, so there's no reason to like build up a damage meter. Um, that would be the reason to, to parry a lot more so you could use your uh, attack, your uh, end attack a lot more. I'm just gonna wait for that. There we go. Just be patient, Francisco. Just be patient. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Oh, oh, see, I do want this though, the coin. So I'll get that because the coins I'm gonna use to buy stuff at Porkins. Like spread shot, which is the the ability I like the most. So get the mushrooms, get the flowers. So many guys to sort of keep in, keep track of during this. Yeah, don't get hit by the blue guy. There we go. So just kind of, so whenever they're right over you, that's when those acorns fall. So you just have to. Oh, that guy came out after a. After the machine was dead, that was weird. That seemed like a, a bit of a glitch, but that's okay. Whew, whew. Ah, whew. I'm I'm being a bit too careless. I feel like that's okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's the end. Bravo. Let's see what rain we got. I feel like that was good. Maybe an A. S ranking. I love I love this like Indian animation. And the, the jazz music in this game, so good, so good. What's that great? What's that great? A minus, baby. All right, I'll take it. Oh, because I could have had more parries. So, oh, so I need to have complete all these. Okay, full hit points, all the parries. Uh, okay, so I didn't realize that's how you got like better scores. I wasn't paying attention to that last time I played this. Oh, the bridge, the bridge is open. Okay, Porkins, give me some sweet, sweet spread shot. Well, thank you for the welcome. And let's see, what else do we have? I think, where am I going? I have five coins left. Um, I think for now, oh, do I want an extra heart or smoke bomb? Invisible dash, you will not be able to damage during a, actually, I do want to do the extra heart so that it will actually, the heart will go away and I'll be able to get this ability that allows me to do a parry with each jump without pressing the button twice. So we'll do that. See, that's the one I want, the sugar, the automatic parry, but can't get it now. So we'll leave. We do have to equip these abilities, though. 
You guys want to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equipment card, you bums. All right, we'll do that, Porkins. Shot, oh, well, ah, shot B. If I could press the right button, that usually helps. Uh, super, I don't, yeah, I don't have a super yet. Charm, yes, we do want the heart for now. And uh, we'll go with that. <laughs> Looks like uh, Reed's Dyer is pressing keyboard again. All right, so here uh, we'll do our first boss, guys. Uh, let's see, which one do we want to do? I guess we'll, yeah, we'll do this one down here. This is, I think, a potato guy? Botanic Panic. We'll do regular difficulty. Okay, um, you don't have to apologize. I figure that's what that's going Oh, my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got time to spuds right. Not gonna get me, Mr. Potato. Okay, you you might get me. <laughs> right, you can't be dead yet. There's more to you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Whoa, onion guy. I'm gonna make you cry, Mr. Onion. Yeah, just like that. Oh, ah, watch out for those tears. Oh gosh. I forgot I had one more HP. Okay, I think there's one more guy. I think it's a carrot? Yeah, crazy carrot, dude. Oh, oh, he's gonna do his... Oh, oh, ah, ah. Oh yeah, just, oh yeah, I just have to run back and forth and then he won't hit me. Okay, you use your psychic abilities all you want there, carrot man. Oh, oh, psychic ability, watch out. Watch out for his death eye Illuminati ray. And uh, there is a Luminati emote in chat, so if you want to spam that, <laughs> I feel free to. <laughs> ah! Take a look at the real baked potato. Yeah, exactly, y'all. I thought onions were supposed to make you dry. <laughs> make you dry. <laughs> Ooh, knockout. I need one more awesome uh, uh, carrot pun, Dale. Let's see if you can come up with one. Okay, so time is good. Hit was not good. Yeah, I got hit a lot. I think that's probably a C. I could do better than that. That's okay, though. The root pack. So that got the... So this is my first contract. So this is what, when you beat a boss, this is what the contracts look like. All right, so now there's a little uh, way to go around up here, I think. There's a cool little, like, uh, secret entrance over here. So you can go over here. Uh, and let's see, who can we... Anyone else to talk to? No, okay. So we have to... What is this guy going to say? Who are you looking at? My chip, huh? It's not my fault. I've been busy fine off those casino debtors. I got say I gotta save up to make to have my blade fixed. So help me. I wish someone would just bust that king dice one. Hmm, flower patch or we'll do it. We'll do another running gun level. Tree top trouble. I'll give that a shot, devotions. We'll see if that works. Hopefully it does. Yeah, it's, it gets really scary when they're, like, right up on me, these ladybug guys. There we go. We still got that. It wasn't the guy I was going to, but we got it. We're, we're all good here. Ah. Man, that one was calling it close. See, with, with those guys rolling on the ground, you sort of have to trust that you're going to kill them if you just keep shooting them. <clears throat> all right. There we go. I don't, I don't really need to kill these wooden guys. I'm just trying to be a somewhat completionist about it. Come on, B. Come on, B. I could parry those, but I'm not going to worry about it. They're so tiny that I don't want to miss and not do it, especially without an automatic parry. Come on, come on. There we go. Whoa. Whoa, B. Get out of my way. <clears throat> come on. Go. There we go. Hey, 
Hafner. Oh, what? Why, why are you up so early? <laughs> How's work going for you, Hafner? Hopefully well. Um, Dale says, hot cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Geek Oceans. How much space does this take up on your computer? A buddy of mine said to download it to his Xbox. It came, first came out, looked to be 40 gig. It wasn't 40 gigs. It was, I want to say something like four gigs. It could have been something like that. That sounds about right. I think just because there's all these, like, I mean, it's hand-drawn animation. They actually hand-drawed, hand-drew all the cells for this. They did color it digitally, but all the animation for all the, the for Cuphead, all the enemies, everything is all hand-drawn, guys. That's why it has such an ama- such a beautiful quality to it and character. <clears throat> Come on, come on. Uh, but so that doesn't surprise me that it's four gigs, is what I was trying to say about that. Come on. Uh, yeah, right there. Who I didn't think the guy's gonna make, make that. Dang it, press the wrong button again. I want to do the um, the the midair dash, but I'm pressing the button for the super, which is not helpful. <laughs> Well, that'll work. I have enough life, just barely. Okay. <laughs> I beat him through attrition. Oh, there's more. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think press the right button, Francisco. <laughs> that would have been horrible. I beat the boss and go down in the pit. Uh, oh, man. You're making me want to buy this even more now. Seriously. It is all hand-drawn. I know. It, it, it's It's amazing. This is going to be a great app. This is not good. Did not do well here. See? Okay, well, that's fine. Dale, I'm just seeing 2D animation on the big screen. Exactly, Dale. Exactly. Disney. Anyone else? Please, just go back to traditional animation. It's beautiful. It's lovely. You can do so much with it now, too. Please. The games have the right idea. I mean, look how beautiful this looks, guys. And I'm able to... It's so nuts to me that I'm playing a cartoon. I mean, it's just... Uh, it blows my mind. It just blows my mind. Hammer says, almost looks like a cartoon. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so why do you say almost? To me, it looks like a cartoon. But why does it almost look like a cartoon to you, Hafner? Is it because you've got this big strip of man meat <laughs> on the side with a red shirt and a hat? It was just taking you out of the experience? That's probably why. Yeah. Uh, so I love this on mag parry. That's why when you jump, it'll just give you a parry. You don't have to double tap the button to give the parry. And it'll, I think that even makes it work so that you can hit a pink thing on when you're on your way up, not just when you're on your way, way down. So definitely going to get that. Coffee. Oh, there's some for you, Dale. There's some coffee for you. Auto fill meter. Super meter continuously fills in addition to what you earn. Oh, that's cool. So that you'll be able to do your super um, abilities faster. But I'm, I'm good for now with average damage and backward to my... Okay, well, we're not worrying about that right now. Okay, let's go. Goodbye, Porkins. <clears throat> Hafner says, because I know it's a... Oh, because you know it's a game. Oh, okay. It's hard to suspend disbelief. Uh, Patch Eye Pig. Yes, it does look like that. Geek versions. See, I guess I need to go back and earn some s ray <laughs> Oh, I guess you need to go back. Yeah. Though, you can't replay bosses. Okay, I try to go here. Oh. Oh, I guess I could replay boss. Oh, interesting. I, I thought I couldn't replay the bosses. Well, never mind. I guess I could go back and do an, uh, get that S rating. But let's uh, put in my super. Not super. I want my charm. I want my charm to be um, on Mag Perry. I haven't unlocked a super yet. So I only have that fire, that Hadouken. What's this guy want to say? Humph. <laughs> I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah in the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls the place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold and spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say. <laughs> I wonder if they're... 
So I imagine that means like around the background, there's uh, coins you can find. I have yet to in my in my the playthrough I was doing before, I hadn't found any coins, so I'm not sure what that exactly means. And Dale says, "That's eight. I got mine. That's the thanks though." Oh oh oh, that's I is what <laughs> you're not doing Scottish. <laughs> Doing Scottish for you right now, Dale. Uh, that's all right. I got mine. Thanks, though. You're welcome. Hafner says, I thought that style style ratings like S ranking was a Mega Man thing. Uh, it might be. Is that what S means? Style? I never knew that. I, I always thought S just, they needed a letter above A, so they went with S. Uh, Geek Devotions, Game Theory did an episode on this game. They theorized that Cuphead is a moonshiner during the Prohibition era, and the liquid in him is booze. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm sure that's the case. Because everyone drank booze out of muds. I don't know, maybe they did back in the day. Okay, so this is my son's favorite level. I'm going to be playing Cuphead for about another 20 or 15 or 20 minutes. Then I'm going to be switching to Aquaria. Clip joint calamity, a ribbon croaks. This is a much trickier, uh, much trickier one. Gotta make sure we get these flame guys. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah! Ah! So pretty much just duck until it's the bottom one. Okay, there we go. Oh, more, more uh, flaming sheep. I don't know what these are. Oh, they're flaming flies because they're eating. Which is funny that these guys own a boat establishment and there's all these flies in the background. What a, what a beautiful background, by the way. Um, but it's funny that it's like, do you guys know where you, these guys are going to eat you? Why are you dining here? Don't give them your, their, your patronage. Oh, no. Here he comes. Okay, this, this dodging these things are going to... Dodging those things are hard for me. I have trouble with those things that the, the big guy spits out. I don't know why, but they're just not something I'm able to, to gather very well. Oh, well, I guess I'm maybe I learned from last time when I played him about where to stand, but it's, it's tricky. Oh, ah, see, see, I told you. I didn't know. Crude and bad because we're from the wrong side of the lily pad. Uh, you're so funny. Dale says, I thought it meant satisfactory. Well, though, I don't think it'd be satisfactory because it's above A on like the normal United States, I don't know, other grading systems in other parts of the world, but the, you know, the A, B, C, D, F. S is above A, so I don't think it means satisfactory. Um, Gidrosh says, actually, oh, yeah, they did during Prohibition days. Oh, okay. They put booze in mugs? I didn't know that. Couldn't get caught with flasks and wine glasses. So speak easies served in coffee and teacups. Oh, uh, okay. Hafner, I meant that kind of rain. I don't know what the S stand. Oh, oh, I see. Uh, Gidrosh says, you were dodging them pretty great for a minute. <laughs> for, for one minute there, you were doing really well. <laughs> After that, eh. Dale, the toads from Tijuana picked up some skills last I see them, right? Exactly. It goes for comfort, in my opinion. Let's do a, me a mega. There we go. Well, I don't think that really hit both of them, but that's something, I suppose. <clears throat> come on, come on. You're almost dead. You're almost coin machined. I know it. Or slot machine, I should say. Oh, yeah, here we go. Slot machine time. Snakes? Why did it have to be snakes? Oh, 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 I have to. Okay, it's got bulls. I don't think I know what the bulls are. Oh, gosh. Oh, don't want that one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, ah! No, dang it! Oh, it's so close. You went for broke, and now you're croaked. <laughs> Chopper toad? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, a good rage says that frog blows. Uh, 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 I love that you guys are adding to the puns of this game. It's great. Dale, get checked out. Yeah, okay. Oh, here we go. Time for a slot machine. Okay, let's not. Let's get. Actually, let's get the snakes. That's. That actually went much better for me. Let's see, what is it? Tigers? I don't know what tigers are. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Things pop out of them. That is Here's a real high-class All right, here we go. One more time, guys. Let's let's see if we can do it. Hacker says, "Why would your kids want to help? Want to be up this early? Because they have their daddy's genes of early uh, early risers." Oh, okay. Watch out for this. There we go. That's how to do it, Francisco. That's the way to do it. And also, so that they don't miss the Saturday morning cartoons. Of course, Hafner. Did you, did Hafner, were you someone who woke up early for Saturday morning cartoons? Or no, that, you're, you'd much rather just sleep in. Oh, that almost got me. I think we're almost there. Hopefully almost there, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Let that be it. There we go, there we go. We're to, we're to the slot machine. We got three lives. Feeling good, guys. Let's see if we can do this. Well, that's not what I wanted. Okay, come on, snakes. Bulls. Ah, oh, this was tricky, but okay, better than the other than the cat ones. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, that's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Well, we will have to beat the frog guys next time. Unfortunately, oh, what a heartbreaker. We we end this installment of Cuphead for Saturday Kid Adventures on a low note where Cuphead and Mugman were not able to conquer uh, Ribbit and Totally. They totally lost. But will they survive next time? Come back. Same Saturday Kid channel, same Saturday Kid time. For Cuphead and Saturcade Adventures.